Mic check. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, whatever the case may be. This is Dr. Garayas, your instructor for MED 104. And that is, uh, what is this? Uh, this is um, medical terminology. And let us do uh, a brief overview of chapter seven. Um, so let's look at chapter seven, endocrinology. So endocrine, crin is the suffix that means secrete, endo means within. So endocrinology, logi is the study of within secretions or secrete from within. Endocrinology is a subset of internal medicine, which usually uh, deals with uh, things like diabetes, because diabetes deals with secretions of insulin and glucagon from your pancreas. So it's from within, inside your body. Well, it's a communication system, just like a nervous system, but it's a lot slower because it has to go through these chemicals called hormones, which go in and out of your, um, your blood. So it's going to take a while. Let's look at some words. Adeno means gland, so an adenoma is a, an oma is a tumor, a lump or a bump of a gland. Pathy is a disease process of a gland. And remember, we talked about lymph nodes or lymph glands, lymph adenopathies. And if I had a lymph adenopathy, I have a potential what? Disease process. Remember the story about me palpating or touching my neck and finding a little extra lumps there that shouldn't be. Adrenal gland is the gland ad above your renal. Al, pertaining, al is pertaining to your what? Ren is your kidneys. Adrenarch is, oh, uh, I don't like it as much. I know I mentioned the meaning of it in class, but I like this word better. Adrenalitis, inflammation and infection of your um, gland that is above or add on top of your kidneys. That adrenal gland uh, secretes uh, cortisol in the uh, cortex and uh, corticotropic hormones, tropic or trophic means pertaining to growth, growth of what? The cortex of your adrenal gland. If you look at this very large word here, the adrenal cortical hyperplasia, plasia, ia, state or condition of growth, right? Excessive growth, where? In my adrenal gland, specifically the cortex, okay? So uh, if I could ask this question, I would be asking you, is it increased growth, decreased, decreased growth? And if you see hyper, means increase. Plas means growth, or in the case of plastic surgery, it means repair. Your gonads are your sex organs, um, testes for male, ovaries for female. So if you have an ovary problem or a testes problem, that's a gonadopathy. Gonadogenesis, that's when um, uh, your gonads start developing. It's around week three or week four, age of gestation, when you're inside your mother's womb, also known as her uterus. Pancreas, pancreatitis, inflammation and infection of this gland called the pancreas. And the pancreas is really important because it secretes insulin and glucagon and is heavily involved in diabetes mellitus. Pancreatolith, lith means stone. And where is this stone? In our pancreas. You have your pituitary gland, also known as your hypothesis. But let's focus on pituitary because it's more common. So if I have hyperpituitarism, that means my gland is overworking or working too much. If I have hypopituitarism, right, that would be uh, my gland isn't working hard enough. Thymo, thymoma, remember the word tumor, doesn't mean it's cancer yet until there's a biopsy. The Department of Pathology looks at biopsies and Department of Oncology, Logi study of onc or tumors, they're the ones who are going to manage it. Thymectomy, ectomy, surgeons will do that. And you can also remove your thymus. Your thymus is big on um, your immune system. It, it gives you a whole bunch of uh, white blood cells that you need. Thyroid. Uh, your thyroid gland is located in your neck or the cervical area of your, uh, your body. And it could be thyro or thyroid. So thyrotoxin, uh, that is a chemical that is poisonous to the thyroid gland. 
And if your thyroid gland gets poisoned or has cancer or whatever, we might have to remove your thyroid, and that's a thyroidectomy. Glucose, remember the suffix OSE? OSE means sugar. So glucose is your very popular six carbon sugar. So glucocorticoid, um, oid, it's resembling uh, cortisol uh, and glucose. Uh, we'll talk more about that oh, in anatomy and physiology, but could I be urinating out glucose? Sure. If I have hyperglycemia, too much uh, glucose in my blood, blood condition, which is the suffix emia, hyper, uh, and if I have hyperglycemia, I could also have glucosuria. But hypoglycemia is decrease of glyc uh, of glyc or sugar in my body. And we already know endocrine versus exocrine. Endo is secretion within, exo is secreting outwards. So things like your sweat gland and oil glands and your sebaceous gland and mammary glands, they secrete things outward, but things like your pancreas secrete things inward. So inward, endocrine, outward, exocrine. Here's some uh, abbreviations, quite common, adrenocorticotrophic hormone or ACTH. TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone, T3, T4, triiodothyroxine, and T4 is even a longer word, and calcitonin deals with calcium. Your luteinizing hormone and your uh, follicle stimulating hormone deals with ovulation or uh, that part of the menstrual cycle in our female patients that um, deal with the release of that single ovum or that single egg. Hyperthyroidism, hyper, too much, hypo, too little. And calcitonin is a hormone that deals with, of course, calcium balance. Endocrine, classic example is your pancreas. It secretes insulin and glucagon into your body or endo within your body. Medulla cortex, nice to know. Hyper, hypoglycemia and euglycemia. Euglycemia, you is the prefix that means normal, or your patient could be nor have normal glycemia. So that's when their sugar level is normal. Hyper, their blood sugar level, very high. Hypo, blood sugar level, very low. I could be uh, urinating glucose, which is sugar. I could be urinating ketones, which is an alternative um, to glucose, which usually happens in uh, starvation states like diabetes and uh, extreme dieting. Hormone, hormonal poiesis. The suffix poiesis means to a production of. So if I had hematopoiesis, that's production of uh, blood cells. Hormonal poiesis is the production of hormones. Ketos or ketogenesis. Remember, genic, ic pertaining to, ketone and genesis is the creation of, gen. And ketosis, abnormal condition of ketones. There's never a normal condition of ketones. Remember, I mentioned that ketones are neurotoxic. So if you starve yourself or you're diabetic, you have a buildup of ketones in your body. That's never a good thing. Uh, tropin means growth. Thyrotropin, growth of your thyroid. Gonadotropin is a hormone that deals with growth of your gonads or your sex glands, like your testes, male and ovaries and female. Hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia, euglycemia. We saw that example. Now the same can be done for calcemia. Polyuria. Poly means too, too much. Urea is state of condition of urination. Oliguria, right? That is a state of condition of uh, progressively decreasing urine. And anuria is, of course, state of condition of no urine. And we don't want to get to that level. Adrenalgia, pain in my adrenal gland. Adrenal virilism, that's when we upgrade uh, male testosterone and male, um, and, uh, male, um, male hormones. Um, Hirsutism, and remember, I don't like adrenarch. I like menarch. Menarch is the, um, the like, it's like the, uh, the beginning of the menstrual cycle, and adrenarch is, eh, it's, it's the beginning of what, adre of, um, uh, adrenal hormones, but you know. It's not as defined as menarch or uh, first time uh, having a menstrual cycle. Hirsutism, remember, that's when hair gets out of control, uh, usually for female. 
Um, so of a female, maybe because of hormones or maybe some drugs or medication that they took, they start having male patterns of uh, hair and excessive hair. Amenorrhea, uh, menstrual flow, no menstrual flow. Gynecomastia, mast, ea, stated condition of what? Female breasts. Remember my boy Tiny. Uh, he has gynecomastia. Hypergonadism, that means uh, a process where my uh, gonads are producing um, uh, too much hormone. Hypogonadism is when my gonads are not producing a lot. Menarche is the first time you uh, have a menstrual cycle. And I like it better than Felarch. This is a better word, word to learn for exams and for clinical life in general. Uh, this is good. Polydipsia, polyphagia, polyuria, dipsia, poly, too much drinking, polyphagia, too much eating, polyuria, too much urination. And those are the three P's of diabetes mellitus. Uh, acromegaly. Acro is your hands and feet. Megaly, uh, excessive growth. Galacteria, um, um, uh, secretions or excessive secretions of galactose. And uh, dwarfism, the patient is uh, smaller. Gigantism, the patient is larger than normal. Exalpamus, we, we talked about that in hyperthyroidism. It's when your eye comes out of its sockets like X. And ophthalmo is your eye. Thyroseal, your thyroid is getting so big that it's sticking out. So that's also called a goiter. Thyromegaly is another way to call it. Thyrotosis is when the megaly gets so big that it starts drooping down into your throat, from your throat into your, into your almost your, your um, chest cavity. Now, emia, that's not blood test. Emia means state of condition of blood, right? And urinalysis, state of condition of uh, urine. Oh, by the way, urinalysis or urine analysis, you put it together called urinalysis. Sometimes it's written U slash or like, you know, like this thing slash u slash a for your analysis you know all of these calcemia hypercalcemia too much calcium hyperkalemia too much potassium hypernatremia too much sodium here and a sodium and hyperphosphatemia and you could have hyperchloremia but you really shouldn't have chlorine in your your blood it's never a good thing Acid, alkalemia, and remember, it's the exact opposite. Alkalemia uh, is the opposite of uh, acidotic. Um, uh, another word is basic. Hypercholesterolemia, hyperlipidemia, those are good. Uremia, another word to also know um, regarding uh, this condition. It means blood condition of too much uh, um, nitrogenous waste in your blood or urine in your blood. Urine contains a lot of nitrogenous waste that's supposed to be in the toilet. But if your kidneys back up, you get uremia. Another word for uremia is azotemia. A-Z-O-T-E-M-I-A. -E this is nice. This is when you urinate calcium, sugar, ketones. And we already know polyurea. ACTH, gonadotropin, epinephrine. Eh, nice to know, nice to know. Adrenomegaly, youth thyroid, we kind of know that already. We can know these, gluconeogenesis, glycolysis, glycopenia. Oh, let's see. We already went through that. Hey, let's look at this big thing. Cholangio pancreatography. Graphy, process of, remember the why, okay? Process of what? Recording the uh, gallbladder, which is cholangio, and your pancreas. And if I do it endoscopically or retrograde, that means I'm going backwards in the tubing and I'm doing it through a scope, right? Or a fiber optic tubing with a camera on it that's going where? Inside you, endo. Thyroid function test or thyroid panel means a whole slew or a complete um, set of thyroid tests, or thyroid function tests. Um, you'll always hear things like liver panel um, and lipid panel. That means a whole battery of tests related to that one topic. 
So if you look at the, um, the again, uh, when you look at the, the slides, like the first half is like the lecture, and then the second half is they start grouping all of the um, uh, the words, like everything related to glands, adeno, heck, this is almost writing the, uh, the questions for me. This metabolic, it pertaining to abnormal change in growth. That's this metabolic. Okay. Inflammation and infection of the adrenal glands. Adrenal gland tumor. Adrenal gland cancer. Adrenal gland, not it's not sufficient, it is insufficient. That means it's decrease its output. Adrenal cortical insufficiency is the cortex part. The cortical part of the adrenal gland is getting messed up. Adrenal cortical hyperplasia, we already talked about and congenital adrenal hyperplasia, if you look at the word congenital, al pertaining to, which is the suffix, prefix is con, which is, means with, with what? Your genitals, or where you were born, pertaining to, with birth. So this person who has adrenal hyperplasia, they had it since birth. Pancreatitis, pancreatic lith, pancreatic lithiasis. Lith means the stone. Lithiasis means abnormal condition of stone. Insulinoma is a... A uh, tumor of what? Made of insulin. Diabetic ketoacidosis. That means their blood is what? Acidic. That's not a good thing. And it's filled with ketones. Right? And DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis easily can lead to a lovely tumor. Hyperhypopituitarism. Panhypopituitarism means the whole entire pituitary is messed up. Pan means what? Um, the whole area. Infarction means blockage. Remember AMI, acute myocardial infarction. That means a part of the heart is blocked and the oxygen can't get to it. Hyper and hypoparathyroidism. Your parathyroid deals with um, uh, calcium balance. So if I have hyperparathyroidism, I have too much calcium. Hypoparathyroidism, I have too little. Ectomy versus tomy, you can go through these. Give me a minute for you to look at that, or you can pause. Ketogenic diet will do what? Creation of ketones. And remember, not a good thing. Tomy, to cut into my thyroid. Toxin, it means there is something poisonous to my thyroid, or my thyroid is kicking out poison either way. ACTH, GH, growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, T3 and T4, our thyroid hormones, triiodo, thyroxin, and T4. Let me look at T4. Let me not be lazy. Well, they just call it thyroxone, but the, the chemical name is tetraidotum, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we'll just call it thyroxine. I don't know. I remember it being long and complicated, T4. But I could be wrong. So the uh, abbreviations, eh, nice to know. GTT, well, OGTT, oral glucose tolerance test, FBS, fasting blood sugar, uh, and hemoglobin A1C, is your glycosylated hemoglobin, or the hemoglobin that we know carries, um, you know, hemoglobin can carry oxygen or carbon dioxide. Well, this particular type of hemoglobin carries sugar or glucose, hence the term glycosylated. And if that gets high, that means for the last 90 days you've been eating garbage or McDonald's or something similar. Uh, gestational diabetes, diabetes mellitus, Type either one or two, and they write it in Roman numerals right next to it. Diabetes insipidus has something to do with kidneys. It's something kind of related. And HRT, hormone um, hormone replacement therapy. And that ends this lecture. Thanks for playing. And I know it's going a little bit fast, but that's what the pause button is for. So I'll see you in class. 
thanks for playing.